Pittsburgh Steelers, who they swooped in and they swooped in fast. They signed Miles Jack to a two-year, uh, sixteen million dollar deal, and so that's eight mil per. Not bad. Miles Jack gets a decent payday after being released from the Jacksonville Jaguars. He remains in the AFC, but he goes to a much, a better team, better team, better organization, and. What <laughs> what a good spot for him to be in. Um, this is a, a, a good move by Pittsburgh because when you think about it, you, you look at the other quarterbacks uh, in the AFC North, um, and they can all throw the ball, but something else that they can do, they got that sneaky speed. Some speed is sneakier than others, and others you, you just know straight up they can fly. Um, so you got guys like Lamar Jackson, you got guys like Joe Burrow, you got guys like Deshaun, Ugh. hold up now, we'll see, but you, you got these other quarterbacks in, and for you to have a linebacker like that, a linebacker that can move, a linebacker that can go make those open field tackles, it's a good move. Now we know that, um, last year for Miles Jacket, it wasn't his best season, no. it wasn't his best season. Um, I know according to PFF, and PFF can be a bit shaky, um, but they he was one of the uh, the lower-rated linebackers in the league. Um, but going to Pittsburgh, like, he'll have an opportunity to have a huge weight lifted off of his shoulders because, of course, in, in Jacksonville, he had Josh Allen, and Josh Allen is nice. Not the quarterback, but he had Josh Allen, a pass rusher, defensive end. He's nice. Um, but now he'll have his own version of Josh Allen. He'll have Cam Hayward. And Cam Hayward, is, he's, he's like that, man. But then next to him, still on the defensive line, well, defensive line, outside linebacker, on the edge, you got T.J. Watt. So just thinking about it, man, thinking about everything that Miles Jack just has in front of him, it's like, oh, oh, that's where I'm going? Oh, okay. Now I'm not sure if, they still, if the Steelers still have uh, Spillane or not. Um, I feel like he was an underrated linebacker. Um, I'll never forget that tackle that he made where he literally gave up his body uh, to tackle Derrick Henry on the two-yard line. Um, that It was just like like they say. I know it sounds cheesy when they say it. Oh, it's like a car wreck, but it really looked like a car wreck with Derrick Henry colliding with Splane, and he just... Uh, but anyway, um, this, this is a good move. Then, of course, the Steelers, they try to uh, show up their secondary... They signed uh, Levi Wallace yesterday um, to, to a decent deal. I forgot. It's, I know it's a two-year deal. I forgot what the terms of it were, but I know it wasn't anything crazy. I want to say $14 million total, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so Steelers, and, and then they, they got, he's going to be working with, I think he's going to be working with Brian Flores since I believe he's the uh, assistant linebackers coach. Um, so we'll see how that that whole thing goes. Well, you know, Steelers going to take care of him. They're going to have Miles Jack looking right again. Oh, yeah, they got Devin Bush. I forgot about Devin Bush. So you're going to have Devin. Ooh, they, ooh, they got some speed at linebacker. <laughs> and now it's, it's about coverage. Because the tight ends that you're going to be going up against, David Njoku, you're going to be going against Mark Andrews, who was actually rated the best tight end in the league last year. He did his thing. So you're going to need some linebackers that can definitely move and keep up. Um, so that's going to be a challenge. I couldn't speak on Bengals tight ends because C.J. Uzama, he went to the Jets. And so we'll see what happens there. But you get what I mean. Good pickup by Pittsburgh. Good move. Um, Mitch Trubisky. Uh, as far as him, I have been thinking a lot about uh, Mitch Trubisky as a Pittsburgh Steeler. Um, and hey, you never know, man. You never know. In, in the video that I talked about where they signed Mitch Trubisky, I talked about Ben Roethlisberger and his struggles. Uh, but somebody reminded me, they said, hey, that noodle arm guy still swept those Ravens. And he certainly did. They still did. Regardless of if Ben could complete the deep passes or not, they still got out the broom on the Ravens. So, yes, that, that is very true. But now with Mitch Trubisky, um, a lot of people feel like he was ruined by Matt Nagy. And that that situation just killed his career. Well, obviously not killed it, but it, it put it on a little downward trend. Um, then he went to Buffalo as a backup, which I was a little surprised. And it seemed, man, it seemed like it was just yesterday that he signed with Buffalo. Now that year, this year flew by. This football season flew by as it always does. But now he's going to Pittsburgh. He's going to a, he went from a really good organization with the Buffalo Bills to a really good organization with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with the Chicago Bears, it just 
things haven't been so smooth up there. Um, so when you are removed from a bad situation and you're, you're just so used to bad situations, then when you're in a good situation, and this is just in life in, in general, not just football, but when you get put in a good situation, it can just be very refreshing and it can get, give you a completely different outlook on things and it can just make you change your habits. So maybe that's what happened with Mitch Trubisky in Buffalo, and maybe that's what could happen with Mitch Trubisky with the Steelers now too. So we'll see how this whole thing goes down. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And wow, shout out to Miles Jack for getting scooped up literally like that.